Good, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I look at myself as a small cog in this Avatar family and, you know, there's thousands of creatives involved and, and that kind of a recognition is a testament to their hard work. And how, how is Jim doing? We heard he's got COVID and can't be here tonight. Seems to be okay. He seems, he's said to me that he's, uh, you know, he doesn't have any symptoms. But, um, but yeah, it's best to play this, these things safe, especially after, you know, we've all gone through the, this pandemic. Yeah. Um, look, it's an immersive movie. This movie is a lot more emotional than the first one. But I think, you know, Jim could have quickly gone out and made a movie straight after the success of the first one. He chose not to. He chose to go back into his own life. And I think that's important. I think, therefore, the movie becomes a, a labour of love for him rather than just trying to replicate the success of the first one. I, I get I get emotional to know that that I'm a part of something that has been groundbreaking and trailblazing and has meant so much to people uh, to so many people around the world regardless of where they come from and how they come from and what they come from um, they found relatable themes in this story and this in this planet um, and that I feel like it, it it makes me feel like I'm a part of a legacy and, and that's important. Jim established that conversation very early on, way before anybody was talking about it. I know that for me, being a part of this project, it was the first time that those those conversations were introduced to me. Um, now that we know, we just can't turn a blind eye to it. Our younger generations are holding us to it. Jim now expands this conversation, but not in a way that is preachy. It's in a way that's not only going to reach your mind, it's actually going to touch your heart. And um, and then you, you're you going to be the one to decide whether or not you are capable of, of your singular self like making a difference, being a part of that difference, which I think it's great. Bailey, on your right. Bailey! Bailey, this way, Daddy! It's not Bailey, looking right. Bailey! Look in the front. It's so exciting, but more than that, it's an honor to be a part of a legacy that feels more than cinema. It's connecting audiences to something Randers. And, you know, so many people saw the first one and they feel like that's something we can talk about. Like, hey, did you see Avatar? So it, it's, it's beautiful. I love the first movie so much. Uh, of course, I didn't get to watch it when it was in theaters in 2009 because I was a little baby. Uh, but I did watch it when I was auditioning and I watched it over and over again. I still watch it because it's one of my favorite movies to this day. Oh man. Um, I mean, it was it was it was hard. It wasn't easy, but I think the fact that we're here today with so many people um, celebrating this film, this is what makes it worth it. You know, this is what makes all the hard days, long hours worth it. So I'm just so happy.